Hey grown-ups, Miss Lisa from Worthington Library is here with another group of ideas of things you can do with your preschoolers if you happen to be doing at-home preschool this year, or even if you just want to supplement what you're doing in schools. All right, so last week, if you joined us, we did a whole lot of um, prep work because last week was a little more prep heavy for our winter and snow theme. There were a lot of fun ideas. I couldn't stop myself. But sometimes when I have a week like that where I do a lot of prep, I have another week where I don't want to do any prep. And this week is perfect for that. So our theme this week was move it, which means getting your body moving, exercise for littles. Um, and what we're talking about today is some really easy ideas you can do with almost no prep work on your part. Yay! I know. All right, the grown-ups are going to like me this week. Last week, I might have been on your list. All right, so for our Move It Week, I have a few ideas. Very simple, shouldn't take me long to explain. Um, and I don't have much to show you. So our first idea is obstacle course. Having your child design and build an obstacle course is such a fun way to keep them busy for a little bit and keep them moving. If your child, is, if the weather's nice enough, you can do it outside, which is so much fun. My kids love making their own obstacle courses when we go to like natural playgrounds with fallen logs and rocks that they're jumping over and from. Um, so that is a fun way to do it. If you have older kids that would be willing to play along, that's a really good way to extend this activity because then your little one gets to make this and have that autonomy of having other people do it with them that they designed. Um, when we're building things like an obstacle course, that's actually working on our engineering skills for our STEAM, that's the E in STEAM is engineering. So um, we do wanna be doing activities where they're building and creating, um, but we also wanna do things where they're moving their bodies. So if you can do it outside, fantastic. If you can't do it outside or it's just a crummy day and you need to burn some energy, Making an obstacle course inside the house is still super fun. You can, um, your kid can have a spot where they climb underneath chair rungs. They can have a spot where they jump over something. Um, I would just, you know, be around to make sure the things aren't super breakable. That would, that's kind of where I draw the line myself. So uh, hopefully everything goes well, but it's always good to work on crawling skills, jumping skills, jumping with one foot, jumping with both feet at the same time. Um, standing on one foot, building any of those skills, walking along a narrow path like a balance beam. Um, so hopefully that gives you some ideas. Here at the library we have like a tunnel we like to pull out. We have some scooters we use where they sit on them and pull with their legs. That's a really hard skill to develop, but it's great for their cores. Um, and we have stepping domes where they can jump from one to the next. And like I said, you can find those on a path in nature. If you can't go out today, there are ways to do it at home. You can make little spots and put them on the ground. Um, or you can just, you know, pick things that can handle kids jumping on them and, and set those around. Um, you could basically play the floor is lava if your kid has been super into watching that. All right. Anytime that we are building whole body muscles, we are actually helping build our writing skills. So I know it seems a little bananas for me to say like we need to work on crawling and jumping and things like that but the more they can tighten and hold their own core that's trunk stability and that'll help them when they are starting to write a lot with a pen so it is a writing skill builder even though it doesn't seem like it the next idea i had is that you can play a lot of things with tape if you have masking tape or painter's tape what they can do is they can make a road around your house that they push little trucks on or little cars. They can make a road where they walk. Um, if you have one that's really into babies, they can have a stroller path that they're trying to follow. Um, so there are a lot of options with masking tape and just laying it around the house in a path. Um, you can also make your own hopscotch course if you haven't been doing that yet. Um, you can do it outside with chalk, obviously. Also, chalk outside to make a path is super fun too. Um, but if you are not able to go outside right now, you can do some masking tape ideas inside. Um, you can also utilize the masking tape in your obstacle course if you have it like jump here from here to here or, you know, you got it. Okay, 
The next idea I had is that you can have a yoga or a dance party. So you can put on a yoga video. If you've watched my story times before, you know that I love the Cosmic Kids yoga videos. My kids do those a lot. Um, I try to do them along with them. They're very hard. It's a lot of up and down, but little bodies are much better at that than big bodies. All right, so you could do a yoga video together. You can also just put on some jams and have a dance party. And anytime we do that, we are moving our body and getting our heart rate up, and that's so great for the kids. All right, the next idea I had is that you can make two exercise dice or you can use exercise cards. Um, so you would roll one that has numbers on it to tell you how many of something to do, and then you'd roll the other one or pull a card that tells you what exercise to do that many times. So if you rolled a three and then jumping jacks, you'd be able to do that. That does take a little prep grown up, so I'm sorry. I, I was not being truthful before when I said we didn't have any prep this week. Um, the next idea is something called a puddle jump. Now, I know that we love to go outside and jump in puddles, and who can blame them? And as long as you have the right gear on, that's a totally fine and fun idea. Uh, but inside, you probably don't want to do puddle jumping inside. So what we, are do what we do here is I have some uh, laminated things that look like puddles that have activities on them. So when you jump and land on that puddle, you do what that activity is. You can also incorporate the dice into this idea and just roll a dice for numbers and then have the activities on the puddles. You can easily make them out of just construction paper or whatever paper you have at home. They don't have to be laminated if you're just using them for your little one. It's a fantastic idea outside when it's dry to do with chalk too because you can draw the outline of the puddle right in it what they're supposed to do and then go ahead and play the game. So puddle jump is always a super fun one that we do here. I really enjoy it. Our last idea is making a robot costume. So finding a bunch of things in the house that they can turn into a costume and then making a robot. All right, and trying to move like a robot. Ooh, that's tricky. All right, my kids also did stuff this week like building a marble run. Anything where we're exploring how one thing moves another is a lot of fun, dominoes, stuff like that. All right. Well, I hope that gives you some good ideas. I'm running out of space on my cell phone, so I have to go. But I really hope school is going well at home. If you need more ideas or if you need something that's focused on a certain skill, please feel free to email Worthington Libraries, and we will try to get something that will work better for you next time. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Good luck, grown-ups.